I'm gonna show you guys two different ways to do all four scapula cars. Many of you will be familiar with the first way if you've seen this done before. The second way is a tweak that I've noticed has been making a big difference for clients. It's tricky, but I highly, highly, high re or highly recommend trying it because you might notice that it makes a big difference for you too. So I'll show you the standard way first. If you come into an all fours position, so we'll try and set up with our hands about shoulder width apart, our hands underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hips. We don't want you to be way back here or way up here. We're gonna keep it fairly standard. And then all you're gonna do is without letting your chin tuck into your chest and just keeping your neck fairly neutral, eyes kind of looking just above your fingertips, you're gonna see how far you can press your shoulder blades away from each other. So I don't necessarily need you to round your whole spine. We're not doing a cat cow. Instead, just think create space between your shoulder blades. When you can't create any more space between your shoulder blades, you're gonna see how far you can glide your shoulder blades up towards your ears. Then you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together so your sternum's gonna drop towards the floor. Then you're gonna stay with your sternum drop towards the floor, but you're gonna glide your shoulder blades down towards your back pockets or towards your hips. And then you're gonna press into the ground again to create more space between your shoulder blades. So create as much space between your shoulder blades as you can and maintain that space as you glide your shoulder blades up to your ears and then pull them together so you drop towards the floor. Keep them pulled back but glide them down towards your hips and then press into the floor again through your full palm. Glide them up to your ears, send that sternum to the floor as you squeeze those shoulder blades back, glide them down towards your hips and then press into the floor again. Now we're gonna go the other way. Try and make sure that your neck doesn't move as we go through this. Pull your shoulder blades back so that you sink towards the floor, glide them up to your ears at the bottom, then press away, keeping them up towards your ears, then keep them pressed away from each other, but glide them down towards your hips, and then shoulder blades are gonna come back, you're gonna drop. Keep those elbows straight. Glide them up to your ears, press away, glide them down towards your hips, and then shoulder blades come together, you drop down, they stay together and slide up. Then they stay up, but they push away. And then they stay away from each other, but they come down and then back again. Very good. Now that's the standard way. Things that a lot of people struggle with are not using their neck when they go through it, not turning it into a cat-cow and just keeping it within the shoulder blades or making that the main focus rather than trying to make the focus Spine, or spine, spine flexion and extension, and controlling the elbows. And that's actually gonna be our next focus is the elbows. So instead, while the common theme between both versions is that we don't want your elbows moving, the difference is that on this round, I actually want you to spin your elbows so that your elbow pit or your veins on the front of your elbow are facing forward. And then once you have that, I want you to unlock your elbows a fair bit. So notice how much my elbows are bent. I'm not way down here. I've just kind of unlocked them slightly and sent them slightly towards my knees. And now we're gonna go through that same exercise, but you're gonna see if you can maintain that the whole time without letting your elbows straighten or bend further. So see if you can keep that angle fairly consistent. So now same thing, keeping that angle consistent, you're gonna press your shoulder blades away from each other. You're gonna slide them up. You're gonna bring them together and then slide them down. Press them away, slide them up, bring them together, slide them down, press them away, glide them up, bring them together, slide them down, then throw it in reverse. Go back up towards your ears reach those shoulder blades away from each other. Think elbows moving away from your sternum and then glide them down and back again. Coming up, reaching away, gliding them down and back one more time. Glide them up, reach away, glide them down and bring them back together.